Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeoniLaneDesigns.com. Got my junkin' buddy over there. She's trying to be quiet while I film. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click the link below. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Okay, so I am filming the intro for this video inside the house because I'm gonna go paint outside and see how smart I get over time. <laughs> it's really noisy out there. It's really windy right now. And I don't wanna have to wear a mic while I'm painting because what we're gonna do today is we're gonna spray paint ceramic. Two kinds of ceramic, the glossy kind and the flat kind of ceramic. Now I've got, I'll pop up a picture here. I've got this piece, it's a garden angel that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I think he's cute, but he's clearly somebody's mom's ceramic project from the 1980s with all the little flecked paint on it that I don't like. So what I wanna do is I wanna give him a makeover with just some, this is ivory bisque and a semi-gloss. And I'm using Rust-Oleum Painters Touch 2X. I always use 2X for everything. It's paint and primer in one, which I love because with ceramic, you wanna prime it. So if you don't have Rust-Oleum 2X, go get the 2X, it makes sense. You're gonna to wanna to use the 2X. But if you don't have 2X and you've got regular spray paint, you're gonna to have to go buy a primer or paint on a like primer of some kind, like with a brush. So if, you, if you're gonna paint ceramic, get the paint and primer in one. There are other spray paints that are paint and primer in one too. I've not used them. I can't speak to them because this is my favorite. Honestly, it's um, I'm not sponsored by them. Victoria's about to tell me. So you, you're not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by them um, at all. I get nothing if you buy Rust-Oleum paint, so it's not like they're giving me millions to do this, but it covers. So as I'm painting, you'll see how evenly and nice it covers in like one shot. I love that. And I've got another piece, which is this really super ugly owl with the derpy face. I see these all the time and I paint them all the time and I can't keep them in stock. So I've painted it, I've painted, a black one, which I own, and I've, I'm keeping that one. And I've painted a red one, which my mom took for her garden. I painted a blue one, which my mother-in-law has sitting on her end table. I painted a hot pink one that got sold at the shop right away. I painted a white one, that one got sold right away. I painted other colors that get sold right away. So I'm gonna do another one. And this time I'm gonna do it in, uh, again, Rust-Oleum 2X and the Ocean Mist. So I've got my spray paints, so I'm gonna take them outside and then it's gonna get super noisy. So I'm just going to do, um, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, but it'll be time-lapse and I'll probably have to do a voiceover later. So we're gonna spray paint some ceramic. Okay, sorry it's noisy out here. I know I don't have my microphone, but that's coat one and we're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we're gonna hit it with coat two. But before I do, I will give you a close up of what coat one looks like. Okay, here is coat one and as you can see, it's pretty well covered. I mean, the wind is not working with me here. So there are some spots, like if you look right down, let's see if I get down in there. Right down in there, you can still see a little bit of the speckles coming through, but most of him's already white. The ivory bisque. And he's so much cuter white, isn't he? That's the way he should have looked the first time. This little cute little butt, little tushies, like you could still see some of the speckles coming through here. And that's because the wind was carrying it away, but we will um, get that on the second coat. And here, this is the piece that is normally very scratchy ceramic. So you see a lot of figurines done in that where it's a textured ceramic. The angel is glossy. This thing is textured and this will hold paint like crazy without any kind of effort. But the first coat pretty much got rid of all of the derpiness in his face and went into all those little nooks and crannies. So you don't have to do like a dripping coat either. So we're gonna let this dry. 
And then we're gonna cover up all the little pieces that are left on his backside and his arms here, and we'll see how he looks. And before I forget, this is where the ceramic was chipped away. So you can actually just paint right over that raw ceramic edge. So if you find a garden piece that you like that is chipped, don't worry about it. This will cover it and it's gonna seal that up no problem. So I've got another chip on his wing over here and I'll show you when I'm done, but it'll just, right there. It's gonna seal that up so this guy can sit outside. Okay, I had to wait for the wind gusts to stop, but uh, you can see the second coat takes care of all of those little flecks that were still appearing on his backside and all that good stuff. And as you can see, I had to, had to get up underneath his arms and his armpits and then his little legs there. And then the bird, same thing. I checked underneath to make sure second coat more than covered all the ills of this derpy little bird. He's not derpy anymore. He's cute. Okay, as long as I've got the spray paint going, I've got another one of these derpy little owl things. Just... 70s home interior. Pretty sure that's what this was. These go for about three bucks and it's textured. It's the not the shiny ceramic. Again, it's exactly like that other one that I have out there. And I've got Rust-Oleum Matte Metallic paint and primer. I'm going to give him a coat of turquoise metallic because I think that would be kind of cool. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's the same process. And it's really that simple. Just regular spray paint on glossy and a textured ceramic. So it's not hard. If you find a thrift store piece that you're like, I love it, but it's got this weird paint job on it, paint it. I can paint anything, I swear. I, I'm gonna do a lot more of the spray painting tutorials because you guys have questions. Lots of questions, including a tutorial coming up on the new Rust-Oleum fabric for out or fabric paint for outdoor furniture. I am really excited about trying this. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Those are coming up. We're gonna be painting on plastic, raw wood, uh, furniture. <laughs> you name it, I can paint it. I swear, I can paint it and I can paint it with anything. Um, I am excited about doing that, but I'm excited about this outdoor one. Now I have some outdoor cushions that I, are mismatched. I got a set of outdoor furniture and they were mismatched when I got them. So I got some navy fabric paint, outdoor fabric paint, and we're gonna try it. It's new from Rust-Oleum, but uh, that's how you paint ceramic. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can always tag me on Instagram at svcase and use the hashtag junkinwithstacy if you want me to show people your creations. So this week's shout out goes to Distress Donna who tagged me again in her Instagram post. Look at her fantastic finds that she found when she was out junking. Um, it's gonna be a slow year junking y'all, but there's still treasures to be found. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin' videos.